Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media. And I've got the pieces that I made to go inside this. Oh, I missed one. Good thing I looked in there. To go inside this little journal. A little flippy floppy journal. There's a video how I put it together and then I covered it off off screen and then showed it again at the end. Um, so yeah, I cut out the sizes and everything. And now I am just going through and just adding some uh, gesso. It's just, it's just white cardstock that I've got here. And I'm just using a card and just randomly uh, going through with some gesso. Uh, this can be done for any theme, eclectic, flower, butterfly, train, whatever. Um, and then I'm going to be using some inks. So it's just, uh, and some stamping and some, you know, it's, it's little, they're mixed media tags. That's what they are. And I wanted to get, you know, some variation of where the inks hit the plain uh, cardstock and where it hits the gesso. It's going to take differently. I also have some extra pieces that were cut off and I figured I could always make something out of those. So I've got those to cover as well. And I made a bunch of circles because... You use circles every which where. Every which where? Yeah, those are words. Um, I'm not being precise about this. I'm just getting some stuff on there. I don't mind that there's some gray because, you know, railroads are dirty. Because I've got that ink on there. Which is supposed to be permanent. As long as it doesn't get my gesso. I don't care if it gets on the card. I could be um, use stencils and go through stencils with the paint and stuff. Um, I just <laughs> simply just too lazy to go wash it because my ankle started hurting in the night for no apparent reason it it just started i mean I, it was waking me up and i didn't even realize it had been waking me up until like my husband got up to go to work and um then i was like oh my ankle hurts and i know i've been feeling it but i'm just registering and uh, because I've had knee issues in the past, I actually have a cane, so I was using a cane to get around on my, uh, you know. So I slowly, eventually made it down to my craft room, and I've just kind of been doing stuff down here. And, uh, oh, something for a project. I'm going to be doing a celestial journal, and I've got some ideas, and... So yeah, you'll be seeing that coming up. But first, I figured I'd go ahead and finish this train journal. I'm going to pause and dry these. Um, I might get some bubbles because if you add heat to gesso, you could get bubbles. And maybe I want that for some texture. We'll see. I'll be right back. Well, the gesso acted better than the uh, paper I had laying here, which I think is photo paper, which is why it totally did this. Although that would make some... If I could get that to be flat again, that would be some cool texture on something. I don't know. I don't, I don't know that it's so safe to be like melting this stuff. Um, but it was shiny. It was good for um, protecting my surface. Not that it, I mean, my. I actually don't put stuff down to protect my surface. I put stuff down so you don't have to see all the um, the blood and guts under there. Well, or the paint and ink. Not really. Don't worry. There's no blood and guts. Nothing dies in here. I even mostly let bugs go. Unless they're just going to come right back through the screen because they're so tiny. Sorry. Those ones kind of get on my nerves. Ouch. Alright, so. Now I've got all my bases. And gesso on my fingers. Uh, there were a couple that... There were a few that I did. I got the bubbles happening. I don't know if you can... So that just, you know, I'll just kind of flatten it out as I... And it just gives it a little texture. Which is fun. I could go get my sprays. But I've already like kind of pulled out some colors. Also, um, if this is for me, I need to make sure I have some teals. And of course, I like orange with teals. So, I've got some of that. And I'm... Oh, that one's not clean. It's kind of cool though, isn't it? Uh, what is that 5x7 one? I don't know. I guess we're just going to use one of my acrylic blocks. I'm trying to see if I have a clean-ish. No, there's there's no clean-ish anything. Just it's just acrylic blocks that I use randomly for different stuff. 
This one's at least pretty. The backside is kind of pretty, so. Oh, a water bottle would be good too, wouldn't it? I hope I don't have to fill one. Um, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. I'll be right back. Since I had to get up to get the water, I got a couple sprays, especially like the white, because that will do fun, interesting things. All right, now, kind of want to start with just kind of a, let's try the old paper. That probably would have been better off grabbing the spray for. I can't even see if it's on there, can you? <laughs> yeah, I guess it must be getting on there to some degree. I might grab the spray for that one though, because we'll see. It's just like a really light green, the uh, old paper. So let me, I'm gonna grab a couple more sprays. It's just faster with sprays. <laughs> You still with me? Okay, I do have old paper. So, I'm gonna go see, it's a lot darker, so I get a lot more pigment from the sprays than I do. So if you don't like a lot of pigment, then you're not gonna like the sprays quite as much. If you do, then you're gonna want the sprays. And uh, I don't know which side is which. It's okay if I get it on both sides because you know, maybe writing will happen on one side and a picture will be put on the front or I might leave a couple of these plain specifically for that purpose. Let's see, let's do another color. I think I grabbed, yes, weathered wood. I like weathered wood. Um, I think I saw Tim Holtz use it one time as, the, uh, as a spray. I think I had the oxide already. But I just really liked the um, the spray stamp that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to do some collage on top of that. Well, I'm going to do a lot of things. It will mix me a tad. We got the gesso. We've got some inks. Um, we're going to have some stamping and stenciling. What's this? Oh, that's the and um, some collage, maybe some stamp. Um, some focal point stamps and whatnot. Just all kinds of good stuff. I said I would do so. Oh. So I, I'm not good at cleaning the, the things on any of these. It's not like I clean them on the Tim Holtz and not on the uh, Seth After. But I will tell you that Tim, the Seth After one that it says no clog it, it clogs and in um, the other ones which people always have a problem with clogging I don't oh I unclogged it good <laughs> they, they don't clog so much so yeah I don't know I don't know what the right answer is let me uncle you know clean them up that that's always a, a good a good suggestion <laughs> I know clean clean your stuff lady I know, I know, I know. Alright, get these on here, spray them. I don't know, there's gotta, I, sometimes I think there's gotta be a faster way. Especially when you have a bunch. Uh, yeah, I don't mind if those land on top of those. That could be cool. And, like I said, if I do both sides, then I have options. Or, if they end up being a tab off the, off the side of the page, then I will be glad that I did two sides. All right, got some blues and greens and teals on here. Now, now what? For some reason I have the yellow. Oh, I kind of do want to do some yellow. I got um, fossilized amber. Oh my word. Did you hear the cover just go flying? I almost, see this one is a lot more better, more better. Just a little bit of yellow here and there will be good. That's going to green it out a little bit maybe. <laughs> we'll add more. Let's see. Uh, how about that one? There we go. That one? Yeah. Oh, this one didn't get any color on it yet. Or if it did, it, oh, it might have had a little bit of old paper on it. Something. Well, I guess I did. All right, what other color? Um, 
what we could do uh did i bring over the shabby shutters or the peeled paint oh i thought i did but i didn't it was the other i already did old paper oh balmy night i could do some balmy night a little of a balmy night mix with that yellow a little bit that's all right See, the fun thing about smushing ink is you just, you never know what you're going to get. And we'll have to remember this for the celestial one to just, you know, do the circles like they're planets and just get color all over them. I got some ideas for the celestial journal. I'm not going to be using a kit really, not unless I create my own. I've been looking at some pictures just for tags and stuff. Everything else is going to be stencils and stamps and dough printing and all that kind of business. Let's see. Antique linen. Just did that one. I got my black and white for splatters. Um, oh, ice spruce. I thought about doing. Got the stamps coming back in my way again. Yep. Just want some some background. It's gonna look. I don't know what it's gonna look. And I just use cardstock, like I said. Nothing, nothing special. And if I get places where I don't have a lot, I can come back with some other. All right, this needs something, doesn't it? This has like nothing. 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 Let's do some gray. Well, it's black, but by the time I add water to it. it may just end up being more or if it is black that's okay because I hardly ever use black when I'm doing inks and when's a better time to use black than when you're doing railroad I mean really also when I do the celestial one I'll probably be using a lot of dark blues and and black and whatnot I'll be doing everything that ink and all the things but I put the Oh, I didn't have the spray. I had the, the whatchamacallit, um, ink. Here it is. Oh, my word. How sometimes I drive myself crazy. Uh, let's see. So I can imagine that you guys are, you know, so much like this lady drives me crazy. I just can only imagine. I can only imagine. All right. Uh. Could I just set things down where I know where I set them? That'd be really great. Like, seriously? I, all right, let's do, ooh, let's do some brown too. I've got this ground espresso. I'm gonna just make a dry spot here. I don't mind that it mixes with the black and whatnot. Which, okay, I just put that to the left side, but where did I put the stupid black? You guys pay any attention to where I put it after I put it on? Oh, there it is. Okay, I put stuff on top of it. That's what happened. A little more water, and did I bring... Oh my goodness, could have sworn... Ooh, I got this outside too. That might be fun, the Uncharted Mariner. Uh, what am I trying to say? No, nope, I forget. Oh, I thought I brought over the, um, or had over here, the vintage photo or some sort of some sort this has nothing on it didn't I how did how does this have nothing on it let's see this one's definitely a different look some sort of brown oh my word is anybody like left trying to wait for me to say like words oh I wanted to do a little bit of um I don't mind if it gets some brown and black in it uh, rusty hinge because I like the orange with the teal and whatnot. I think it'll bring a nice um, something, something, something. All right, we're doing, I've got, I've also got some uh, rusty hinge oxide, which will come out differently because it's opaque. So the distress inks are not, and the distress, distress sprays act like the distress inks. Don't know where this one's gonna end up, so you know. 
see how where the gesso is and where the paper is this is paper this is gesso very very different that's why I, that's why I do that in case you're wondering a little more oops didn't mean to lay it down in there so thick okay more orange a little orange on this one here and there now I don't tend to like to use um red ink um for doing this process I think some of you can probably imagine why because <laughs> it could look like a bloody mess Let's try some of this oxide that'll be a fun oxide and if you ever if you don't want to have oxides you just want to have inks just get yourself either the picket fence or um the white linen dilutions and you will get the um the uh, oh, it, it'll be almost like having an oxide. Let's put it that way. It'll just, just well, let's get a little brightness into these. Get a little on the dark side, which is fine. Dark is fine, we don't mind. Um, a lot of these have not gotten much else done to them. Although I kind of like that look though. Let's, let's hold on to that. All right, I think I should probably do a little bit of brown kind of a deal. Because there is a lot of brown in the, um, oh, there's the spray. <laughs> Even though I've added water, that's still pretty dark. What is this? Why am I doing that? That's not water. That would have been weird. I don't know what would have happened. You can always see if you want to. What happens when you add turquoise and brown? I'm pretty sure you just get a, a blue brownie kind of a deal happening. I got all these little pieces too, which is not a big deal. They're, oh, that's that side anyway. That one might want something on that one. Let's see. What if we actually spray this one instead? Get a little brown on that one. Any other pieces lost in translation? Um... Oh, there's some pieces, this piece right here. I kind of like the way that one looks. I'm not going to do anything to that one. That one's looking a little... Nope, that didn't help it really, though. Just a little spray of that. And... Oops. All right. I'm going to... That's going to do stuff, like spread and probably wick up some of the color. And that's going to, I don't know, <laughs> it's going to do something. Uh, need a little more. Oh, there, we're picking up some of the color that's on there with the white. That's cool. Okay. There we go. We've got something on there. There we go. Now I'm trying to figure out in my head right now, in case you're wondering, my head keeps thinking when I'm trying to talk and do things. Um, if I want to do my splatters before I do my stamping and inking or afterwards. Um, afterwards makes the most sense, but also, you know, while I've got the mess out here, <laughs> it also makes sense to do it. So, but I also want them dry, so I'm going to pause and dry. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny little skull right there. Do you see him? I don't know. I don't think it's focusing. Do you see the tiny little skull? He's right there. He's a tiny little skull. All right, still drawing things. All right, for the splatters, um, you can use any acrylic paint. I'm just going to use the um, my soft body because that's what I had. Um, I mean, that's what I just happened to notice when I was over there on my uh, getting some other stuff so I just grab some of that and add some water and when I want bigger um, splotches splatters which for white I don't mind a little bit of a bigger splatter I use a brush like a fine liner brush or something like that and that should give me like bigger splatters I don't know if you could see that or not there this, this one you can see a little better see bigger splatters if it's still wet, um, I'm going to get more 
uh, some wicking from the color underneath or I could still get some wicking from the color underneath but I'm not too worried about it some of these will end up in here and some of these will end up in other places so I'm not too concerned about what ends up happening with them Oops, I'm like, oh I'm like what cord is in my way I'm getting a lot of splatter if I didn't want that much splatter I could tap later see just a little bit tap later get you less and probably smaller um but you know I'm gonna cover it with stuff anyway might as well get go for the, see this is how that one ended up that I had sprayed the white on I'm still gonna do some white splatter on it even though it's got cool stuff going on these are still a little bit damp but it shouldn't be too bad okay and you don't want to stack them on top of each other while they're drying because the white splatter will just get smooshed and unless you like that look then you don't want to do that <laughs> and then I usually will make sure that the white is dry before I do the black so I don't get gray splatters so when I go back when I come back to do the gray the black splatters I don't want gray that was the point I just made when I come back to do the black splatters um, it'll be dry and I'm also going to use a paintbrush not paintbrush toothbrush I'm using a paintbrush um, I'm just able to tap this. If um, I needed to tap it harder, I would use another brush or pencil under it. But right now, it's I'm getting enough um, enough splatter just tapping it with my finger. Although I'm, you know, once I start getting less paint on the uh, thing here, it gets a little harder. But I'm almost done. I'm like, I don't want to add more paint. I could add water, but it's just going to make it more watery. <laughs> And it gets everywhere. If you don't like messes, you probably won't like this. So I should have done all my circles last. And I would have had smaller splatters on them. And then I sometimes will turn the page. Turn the piece, I mean. And um, that way I get splatters going in different directions if that's what I want. Sometimes I might just want them going in the same direction. Who knows? Pretty sure for the Constellation Journal, we're going to see a lot of splattering happening. Oh, someone needs to get a correction and turn off the alarm. Sometimes I realize when I'm re-watching a video that I never even heard the alarm or the phone or something go off. It's just... Alright, how about if I... Since there's going to be some on the... Um, all the uh, ephemera, why don't I just do a little bit? On the journal itself if I can keep it open to dry oh my goodness stay open it's a little bit tricky whoops just here and there and everywhere just to you know cohesify it I guess oh that was right in my face I'm sorry you can't see what I'm doing but there's no way to hold this open and have it over the big thing of paint all right let's hope I got everything so for the black same thing um, I don't want it to be gray so I'm trying to get I'm just gonna turn it over then I'll, well if I get anything it'll be brown all right but that's acrylic so it should not re-wet it should just be I'd have to scrape that off come on oh, oh way more black than I wanted Add some water. I already get the. Can you tell this is the toothbrush I use for for the black ink? Wasn't I gonna dry these first? Oh my goodness! Let's start with the first one and hope that. Yeah, some of these look like they might be dry. All right. All right I'm just want. I just want a little black here and there. I don't really want it all over. I kind of do like in three spots. Yes, in three. Sometimes I like three. <laughs> Just kind of do them, although these I'm just going to do, just try to get a little bit, not overwhelm them. And this one, there we go. And so yeah, I mean, I got way too much black. I'm going to have to find some things that I want to do black splatter on or lose the paint because it's way more paint than I'm going to need. Sometimes you do get bitter, bigger splatters and that's okay. That one I did four. Ooh. 
I don't always count. I'm just like, that looks good, that looks good, that looks good. That, right there. There we go. Just go by what looks good. I don't generally actually count. But I do tend to forget the middle, so sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, let's do a little bit in the middle. And see, this one's like really kind of fogged out and whatnot because I did the white on there. But that's okay. Got some black on there. Got drama now. Um, is that everything? Nope. This one. That one. And then there's this one, which I'm going to try to keep the white a little bit in the forefront there, I think. Um, yeah, we got this piece here. Got a little more on that one. That's all right. Don't know where this one's going to end up. It's probably going to get cut into smaller pieces. So, doing a little bit more on that one than I do on some of the others. And... Okay. I'm going to clean up. That's a relative term. <laughs> In other words, I'm going to clean up the, the main, the black stuff here. And uh, I'll be right back. So you remember earlier I said even if I want red in it that I don't use, um, I don't sp splatter and I don't splatter and uh, dip the red. It'll either end up bloody or, or pink. So, but I will I will stamp and uh, stencil with it because then you know it's a defined color or whatever. So I do want a little bit of red. I think vermilion might be good. Uh, let's see. Red, here we go. But uh, which, oh, like this, this one. I want one that has some teal on it to have a little bit of red too, maybe, maybe, maybe? I don't know. Maybe not, because the orange, the ones that have teal have orange on them, which is fine. It would be fine and dandy and everything. I don't even know which direction these go in there, and it kinda would be good to know that. So. And I love my PM Artist Studio stencils, and I do use them for this sometimes too. But um, I can always trim it if I have to. This goes in. Probably should have marked them or something. I think it goes in this pocket here. And it seems pretty square, so it might not matter which direction I go. Yeah, I think they should be fine. Yeah, that's fine. All right, good. See, the other ones I can tell more. This one, not so much. Um, should we just do a little bit of red? Why not? I was, I don't think it, it's coming out more pink than red. I want it a dark red, so I don't want pink. So my suggestion maybe is if you want a red red to stick with, that's not too bad, stick with stamping with it. I think you'll have a little more luck with that. Yeah, the stamp is like, the stencil is broken. That's why I got the bigger one. Um, but for these, are kind of smaller, and I wanted the smaller one, so. It's all good. So yeah, we have a big X in the middle. That's okay. Alright, um, I have this, how big is this round stamp? Oh, we have the clock, too. There was a stamp I didn't use the other day, because it disappeared from my stuff. And it disappeared again, apparently. Ooh, and then we've got our nesting circle. That stamp I use for every dang thing. It, you're going to see it. You're going to get so tired of it. You're going to be like, lady, why do you always use that nesting? Because cause if I'm going grungy, it's perfect. I'm just saying. <laughs> I love how perfect it is for that. All right. One, two. There's three of the ones that came with the kit. That one did not come with the kit. These did not come with the kit, but I want to use them. But there's another round one somewhere. That one, oh no, this one came with a kit. This one is the Tim Holtz one. Okay, we got it. But there's one more stupid stamp that I finally found and now lost again. Stupid runaway. I did it fall on the floor. And I haven't used it yet and I really wanted to use it. But it seems to have run away. I've got to run away. It'll turn up right after I stamp something else on the thing. 
that I want it to go on. Oh, my big dusting circles too. See, they're like, they're just perfect. I love them. Oh, and then there's a similar stamp now that is the roses. And um, that's coming in the mail. And I'm very excited to use that one because I think it's going to give me a similar effect. This is a Tim Holtz. All right, I got lots of numbers going in here too because trains have numbers. Here it is. It's this one. It says railway station has a train on it. All right, I haven't got to stamp that one yet. Let's see what size. Well, I want to do it on one of these circles. Which one can I do red on? So one of these, they're probably one and a half inch circles. That's probably the side I meant to do, but that's okay. Um, I'll do black, she says. And then she's like, but wait, where is the black? It should be here in this stupid pile of... Oh, there it is. I wanted my archival black. That's that's why I'm fussing. Also, if you get fussed at, you tend to be fussy. Can't imagine who would be fussing at me. Oh, there's phones at work. And it's not it's not his fault, really, because there's people, other people involved. <laughs> uh, one of the guys at my husband's work quit today. No two weeks notice or anything like that, so... He doesn't get the leave he put in. Oh, that didn't do anything. What the heck? Um, let's try again. You saw me pressing on it, right? I did it for like several seconds even. Oh, it came out great on there. It just did not want to come out great on the... Um... Hmm. We'll see how it does on this one. it on there for a good goodly amount of time oh, still not very dark I mean it still seems like there is darker even though even though there was like something sticking up right there so it didn't get the uh, what if I try I'm gonna try this red because you know I'm trying to add some red into here mostly a blue I use blue ink on most everything I mean, I can't ruin it. It's already can't see it, so. I didn't even get close. Well, let's see. that. The W makes an M now. That's how far over I was. All right, let's try this side. It's a nice thing about these. Uh, some of them have two sides. You have options. Um, oh, nope, that didn't work. I was like, I'm going to try to slide. Nope, that did not work. Not even a little bit. Let's try one of these. Yep, you're just going to watch me fuss and fuss around and putz around with some. What I was hoping to do was to pick it up without moving it, but I think I even just moved that one. Right. Don't... Last try. This is your last chance. Although they seem to all print really well with the blue I was using the other day. I'm just going to do this and see if it's me or the stamp. Or if it's me trying to stamp on. That's better. You can see it much better. Not perfect. It's not my favorite stamp only because it just doesn't want to, you know, do things right. All right, we still got the other side of these to do something with. And I'm thinking railroad tracks for one. I've got actual, I've got nothing. I've got, and maybe some numbers. Of course, and some damask, smaller damask than that. But so I've got all the Tim Holtz ones. Because when you think trains, back in the day, they had the fancy schmancy uh, cars and all the fancy schmancy wallpaper and all that. Of course, that's old, too, now, so I might want to also get my crackle stamp. And I like also the combination of this, the Harlequin, with, oh, here, this is what I was looking for. I was thinking, I don't want to do red, though. Let's do, where is, oh, here it is. This is uh, Seafarer, and that's what I was using 
for the uh, thing. So I want to make sure I bring that into this so that it will make sense. That and some brown. Because those are some colors. And there's some green in there too, I think. Alright. When I don't want to cover the whole thing, this won't matter if it's upside down, I just kind of go in because, you know, I want kind of an aged look and I just press on the outside edges. I don't press in the middle and whatnot. And so, because I don't, I don't want a perfect impression with this one. I want it to look aged and whatnot. So, all right, this one has, I think I still might. So now this one has had some taken off of it. So now the second time around, the ghost print should give me a distressed look somewhat. So that looks cool. I like that though. I like the ghost. Let's just keep doing a ghost print, man. <laughs> All right, now let's do some more of that Seafarer with these. I'll go with a tone on tone kind of a deal. I'm thinking if I want to bring in some of this bird gray or not. All right, so I'm just pressing on the outside edge. And then over here, I'm going to press on that outside edge. And then, you know, it just balances those two sides. Something will probably go in the middle. Let's see. What about... We've got... Oh, brown. I said we'd do some brown. Let's do some... Yes. Here, let's look for this. See how this one comes out. This is the coffee color. You might also pull out the, uh, I don't know, something... I just like all my damas to be the same direction. I don't like to go two directions with it. So we just have some hints of it here and there, which is what I'm going for, in case you didn't know. Let's do one more of this one, which is kind of already aged on its own, but let's just go ahead and do the whole thing and have it that age bit on the side be the thing. There, that's fun. All right, we use that one a couple times. Uh, let's see. This one. What do we want to use? I don't know if I want to do anything on this one because I just kind of really like it. It may get it. It's I think it goes this way. So we may want to put a train on it, but I may. Oh, let's see. I may do some numbers on it though. Oh, railroad track. Let's. Black buck. Can at least do that. See, let's just go down here with some railroad track. It's not perfectly straight, but it's not going to be straight on on the land anyway, right? Do a little. Oh, where's my big railroad track too? Just kind of bringing this one up over here because I got a lot of black here and here, um, but not much down there. So I just a little bit of black there. Where is the for the stuff after one that kind of looks like railroad but isn't necessarily uh, oh i think i got some more damask here a little bit too where's a little bit of something i don't want to put i'm weird i don't want to put squares on my circles yep i'm weird like that let's do a little bit of i don't think i've used this one before We got the splatter on that side, so we'll do this kind of here. There we go. See, isn't that fun? Super fun. Um, get the ghost print here. There, the ghost print. Um, this one, I've used it on something. I think I had orange on it or something. All right, what do we have here? Would this one work with red, maybe? It's got a lot of orange in it, which might be okay. You know what I'm going to do? I think. No, I'm not, because I didn't put it away. I was going to add a little uh, plum to it, but we'll just add a little bit of sepia to it. And um, Because why in the world would you just use one color if you didn't have to? See, oh, see, I like that. You like that? I like that. Okay. 
do that one here. There we go. Fun, fun, fun till the day is done. Did we do anything with this one yet? We looked at it. We might not have done anything with it. All right, I kind of like the red and sepia combo. So this is vermilion. And then I'm just here and there adding a little sepia. Not all over. Maybe it didn't do what I thought it did. Maybe it was just... And then put that down there. And there should be a little bit of ghost print on this, right? Get the ghost print on there. Fun. Love it. I love that, you know, it disappears in some spots. But you can still see it fairly clearly. I don't know that I'm really getting any sepia on this. Kind of looks like a... I don't know what it looks like. Just kind of pressing on this side, so a little bit of that one will get there, but not exactly. So there we go. Maybe a little bit there, and a little bit there. And ugh, I'm, all, and I'm really bad about doing anything in the middle, so there we go. It'll probably get covered anyway. I'm not too worried about it. And did I mention that I like to com combinize? Combinize? Yeah, there's a word. I like to combinize. The Harley Quinn and the Damask. I'm just going to use the same color I already used here. And I might overlap it a little bit for the most part, though. I just, where there's no Damask, I do some Harley Quinn. That's what that's about. Red, uh, do I want, no, I don't want red. I want black, I think, for this one. I think this one probably has black on it. Who knows? Black, 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 black. I just had it. I just had it. Well, you know what? We'll just use this for a minute. Yep, my blue one is missing. We'll just use that. All right. There we go. I need a new one of these. It comes in a pack, though, and I don't need the other ones. I just need the little... And I've got a um, stamp I could use, but the stamp never comes out quite as... There are several colors on that, probably, because of whatever's on this. So couldn't really tell you what actual color is in there. But Seafarer is part of it. Oops, yeah, see, this this stamp, I mean, this stencil has uh, seen some things. But So that one, I've got the letters and the, the Harlequin. I like that, too. All right. Um, bring a little bit of blue to this one, maybe. But it won't really be blue. It'll be more like a weird, well, I guess it is a little bit blue. Not bad. Okay. What if we put some blue where the orange is? Wouldn't work as well to put orange where the blue is, but. Because it, you know, wouldn't really show up real great. And you can line up, that's what's nice about these, is you can line them up. The phone's ringing again. Oh well. That man smells. He can answer my phone. I don't know why when I say oh well I always want to say Batman smells. What is up with that? I mean it's just because it run like jingle bells, Batman smells, but it doesn't say oh well. So there's that one. Let's put some let's get some of that red off of there. I mean if we end up with a little purple, it's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. So like that. See, we did the blue over the orange, and then we did a darker blue over the blue. You like that? And you like them apples. And in some places, we did both. Because we can. See, it's just like really faded in the back. Alright, kind of like, let's see, this one has more of some aqua. Oh, I was thinking about, where's my sanding paper? San I was thinking about sanding off that part that got bubbly, just because it's lumpy. And of course I had a piece of sandpaper earlier, but that's okay. 
Um, let me just scrape it off a bit. It's just a little too too much texture for me. So that's another thing. If if you get your heat too close to your paint or gesso and you get bubblies and you don't want them, just scrape them off. No big deal. Let's use that one enough, right? Let's use this one again. Brown? Sure. I mean, it's not going to just be brown. This thing holds on to every color that it's ever had on it and it just keeps giving. <laughs> just saying. See, look. Looks more green than brown. A little more forest moss than anything. My son came down and asked me a question. So, you know, I got totally distracted. All right, now I'm just adding some, um, not much of that showed, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. It was kind of a, uh, a ghost print kind of a thing anyway. That was the, the first one I did. So that's probably got all the, uh, mixed media layers now. Anything else will be paper probably that goes on that one. This one... I feel like it still needs something, but I don't know what. All right, this one could use some. I did put some ink on this. Let's see, is it still there? Yep. Nope. <laughs> it dried already. But that's okay. That just means it's nice and you know part of the background and not too in your face. That one I think is good. Where was I putting the good ones to the left? Apparently, this one also has some dried up ink because I tried to ink them all at once but that's okay because then we have you know a nice subtle subtleness that one I think is done. Oh I did end up adding some to that. Of course I got some crooked. That annoys me a little bit but that's all right. Let's go ahead and I'm just going to do all the all this little script I'm going to do in black. Right. So I'm pressing on the left and then I'm moving it to the top and pressing it on the right so I get a little bit but if I t try to flip it the other way it never gets straight it drives me crazy all right let's try this one all right let's put it upside right so I can know what I'm doing here all right I have letters here and here so I kind of want to get it into the middle a little bit in fact I might even do it uh, the other direction here there we go. Then it doesn't matter which way these were because this goes this way. Although there is some that goes that way. All right. And what about this one? I have some bigger. Um. Oh, maybe this messy script one. I have a lot of script stamps. You don't need a lot. If you have one. That's good. If you don't have any, um, take a, a fine line pen and just make some jiggly jaggly looks like writing but isn't necessarily writing kind of a deal. Go all the directions. I mean, because you know, Tim Holtz makes that one. It's got them going like all the directions. So, all right. And then th this will be the last thing I do. So that if there, if I want to uh, have the uh, focal point also look like it's cohesive to the background, then I've got that as an option. All right. Don't know what this one's going to get used for because it might not go in this journal. But I might just go ahead and just do some spot. <laughs> I don't I think I might need to re-ink my black ink. I don't know. Sometimes it works great and sometimes not so much. But like I said, this one's gonna get cut down. So if you have a bigger piece that you're like maybe doing as a master board with the inking and the stamping, then you can do bigger pieces of stamp and almost do it like it's a collage. You know? Because it will get cut down into smaller things. So like even though I put this whole stamp here, like normally with the uh script stamps when we do a little here a little there a little there I can do the whole thing right there and it'll probably end up being on more than one thing even though usually I'll go a little bit there a little bit there break up that line a little bit right there maybe come along the side a little bit there give that a little something all right where are my other ones of these I thought I had them nearby they have disappeared also, I have yet to find my, um, 
Oh, I was thinking about doing a top hat too. Oops, don't mind the sound. I was thinking the hats would be fun in here because, um, you know, they wore hats back in the day when the trains and whatnot. So I had that pulled out. And, oh, there's, I oh, found my blue. Um, I had, I mean, as soon as I try, as soon as I'm done, I will find everything that I can't find in the meantime. It's how my life is, how my desk works apparently because I had pulled I had pulled out my other stamps like that go with that set beforehand oh okay uh, a lot of these are not going to get focal points necessarily because they're for them putting pictures of themselves so a lot of these are just going to go in as they are but, but that doesn't mean we can't have like a train in the background and they can put the picture up there even Want to do that? Let's do that. The black will hopefully stand out some. Oh, he hasn't turned off his alarm yet. He's 22. He can do his own correction and turn off his alarm. Sometimes he leaves it going until he gets his correction, though, so he doesn't forget. So, there's that. Can't really fault him for that, can I? I had a pocket watch somewhere. Pocket watch stamp. Ooh, I've got my big damask too. Well, it's there a little bit. Let's go ahead and do a clock. Let's see, where's this 10, 11, wait, 5, 4, 3, 2. Where's the one? Oh, just, there's the 12. I just wanted the 12 at the top. Regardless of where anything else ends up, because you know, I don't put it in the center. I'm off center kind of gal. There we go. That works for that one. That one's done. I think this one's done. I don't want to really do anything more to this because it would be really pretty with a picture. I may ink the edges. That's that's the only other thing that I might do. And I did want to add some numbers to some, but yeah, these are pretty much done. All right, I said I wanted to do a little bit of uh, collage type stuff on them though, right? Which ones of these will fit one of these on the back? All right, these big ones will fit this little bit of writing space. And uh, I'll leave it so they can add more writing underneath. I don't feel like decorating the backs right now. <laughs> Don't mind me and my laziness. Let's find all the biggest ones. Does it matter which way that one goes? Probably not. I'll just put these in here. Now, if I wanted to put like a decoration on the side, then I might not center that like that. But for now, I have to do that. Do I, have, I should have more. Oh, here. But there should be more big ones. She needed sticky notes, so he brought them to her. The other sticky notes. I just kept some for the journal. It's going to end up being theirs anyway. So I figured they could put pictures of each other. I mean, you know, together pictures. When they're so... He oh, this one's too big. It seemed like it was going to fit on this one, though. Not quite... Almost close enough. All right, let's put them in the journal. I want to see what they look like in the journal, even though you know they could still use a little something. But all right, do we want this one? This one has some red. Do we have anything with some? It also has a little bit of aqua there. Um, but this is mostly orangey, ready. Oh, it's got some orange there though. So this one might work. No, nope, need the sh that bends right there. That's a shorter one. Pay attention, lady. Lady. Okay. This that one's extra. Is this the one that I figured would probably go in here? I guess so. Um, it's a little tall for in there. Maybe it was meant for over here. Which would be perfect because there's like that color right there. Is it for in here? Hmm. It's hard to say. Depends which direction I intended it to go. Oh, good. I think right there is perfect. 
perfectly perfect how it fits. Only thing is, I feel like that goes that way. In my head, that damask goes that way. All right, so I got that one in there. There's a smaller one that goes here. There's a square one, square, 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 that goes down here. Is this the one that goes in here? Yep, that's the one for there. And this might be the one for there, which is perfect. It's got like, that's like the color. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I think this one is the one that goes here. Bringing that teal over there. And then we've got, which one of these is shorter? One of them is a little bit shorter. Oh, it's also going to be more narrow. So this is probably the... All right, close it up so we can figure out where the front is. This one might be for the front. Maybe not. It does have to be that short though. Maybe this one. Nope. Don't think that one fits here. All right. Well, we got this pocket here, which should take a long one like this. There we go. Kind of forgot that these go sideways, but that's okay. We'll, we'll be okay with it. And that one can go in there. Yep, just a little snag on there. This one doesn't fit in the front, right? It's too wide, too wide, okay. So then we have this end one. Good. And this one, which, is that this one maybe? Probably. But you know what? I think I might like this one better. Because I kind of, no, I don't. I do, but I don't. I like that the clock is there, but that color's sort of over here. Could work. I'm putting another pocket here, too, so. Um, yeah. I haven't done anything to this pocket yet though, but it's going to go here. So like something like this could even go in it. Um, so I think definitely you want to put this one here. Like I said, I forgot that these were all going landscapey. <laughs> I did them all portrait, whatever. There should be a small one for here. And any, uh, any idea where that little square one went that I, oh no, it was a tag shape. It was the only tag shape one in there. This is just a little piece of something. A little something, something. I had a tag piece in it. Totally. All right, here's the square one, I think, that goes in here. Yep, that one goes in there. So I'm missing a tag shaped one. Got one in there, and there, and there. See, they look so much different now that they're not white. Um, you want to see what they look like there when they were white you can go watch the uh, video where I you know first showed this all right I just the tag one is the only one that's missing oh and I haven't put one in here yet this can go in there it should fit it doesn't want to fit but it's supposed to fit I may have to cut it down just a little bit because you know I didn't mark what goes where there we go. Perfect. Um, I mean, I, I've got these little numbers and stuff that I will probably add to things. I have this one tab, and I'm thinking I could. That one came out good. That one, I might go ahead and put that there on the other side. Yeah, I think I will. I want to edge it a little bit first. Uh, teal is, is uh, Miha's favorite color. That's why I had to get some, some aqua, teal, turquoise kind of deals in here. And that stamp came out halfway decent. And I don't have that stamp in here yet. So, just put that on the other side of there. And we've got these little ones. Should we do a little tab? So, oh, let's do a tab here. 
put some. That one doesn't have anything on it. That's not super helpful. I can always cut one of the bigger ones smaller if I need to. Here's a small one. That one is fine. I might put it on the inside. See, it's got some colors that kind of go with that. That one's more, well, it's got that color over there. So, I, yeah, they both work. Let's make a little tab down here. They don't have to be perfectly matchy-matchy. That might want to go in just a little bit. I mean, we want a tab. We don't need a whole sphere coming out the other side. I forgot to ink those, didn't I? Oh, well. Tis what tis, but now we have a little, now we know that opens. And someday, we will find the tag that is supposed to go in there, or we will cut a new one. But I remember it being here when I started. I just don't know what happened to it, such is my life. This one didn't end up getting, well, I got a little bit on it, because I was thinking that could be like, no, oh, that goes in there. Um, another thing to poke out of, um. Where is it? Up here or something, you know, the one of the little pockets. I know that's a bus ticket. I don't care. Um, and yeah, I need to decorate that other pocket. Are we on? Yeah, and we're like way over time. So, um, so yeah, now you got a closer look at this too, which is good. I hope you all have a delightful day and uh, let me know if you decide to do some mixed media ephemera yourself and uh, be sure that you have fun with it because that's that's the best part, is just have fun with it. Have a delightful day. Love you guys.